Hi, this is Ed Gregory from photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to edit a really cool minimalist interior architecture photo in Lightroom. Theme tune. Do 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 do. do. Architecture minimal. Architecture minimal. Architecture minimal. So that was my minimal architecture dance. Hope you liked it. So today I'm going to be editing a really cool photograph sent in to the Photos in Color community. Well, to me, from the Photos in Color community. If you want to send me your photograph, all you have to do is head over to the Photos in Color Facebook page, send me a message, and then you can get that photograph over to me. Now remember, I only accept raw images. So if you send me a JPEG, I'm just going to delete it straight away. So please do that and only three images per person. Thank you so much and rename that file to your name so I can talk about you. <laughs> so here we go inside Lightroom. Now we're going to use this photo today. Let's come over to library. It was sent in by Liran Et Etlis. Sorry if I got your name incorrect. But essentially it was taken on a Canon 700D on the uh, 50 mil at, uh, where are we? 2 f 2.8. So there we go. It's quite shallow for an architecture shot, but my guess is it was really low light, so it had to be. So let's jump into the develop module and have a look at this image. Now we can see, very plain, very simple, but for that reason, it's kind of awesome. If we zoom in, let's come up here to one what you can see there's loads of grain going on in this image, a little blurry at times, and that's really because my guess is it was very low light or just um, artificial light, so it wasn't very good. So let's make an edit on this. The first thing I would do, white balance. So we're just going to click on that and we can see everything kind of goes blue. Now all I did was I used the eyedropper tool and I clicked on something that was going to be grey, which was this white wall. So that was quite simple. It's done a good job, but we might have to re-edit that in a minute. The next thing I'm going to do is come down to lens corrections, okay, down here, and I'm going to go full. And what that's going to do, it's going to make my straight line straight and it's going to make my um, vertical line. So it's going to make this nice and even and it's done an amazing job. So pretty good so far. But now let's have a look at the story and the thought about this. Now for me, it's very plain and simple and it's very, um, it's not very busy and I like that. So I want to highlight those elements in this, the non-busyness. So what's pulling my focus? Well, first of all, this up here. Okay, well, we've got this shadow. This is pulling my focus a lot. So let's get rid of that. Now, the easiest way to do that is going to be using this tool here, which is basically the blemish tool, or the, it's going to replace it. Okay, so I can just paint over this, and I'm editing this. It's a spot edit, and I go like this. And it's going to find an area which it thinks is simple. Now, I actually want to go a little bit further away over that line to give it a little bit of leeway. Now, it just looks around and sees what it can do. So it, it kind of found something, but it didn't do a very good job of it. So what we can actually do is move this around and make it line up in a better place. Now I can see I've kind of missed some areas on that, so I'm going to hit delete again. And this is the thing with the blemish tool. I would definitely recommend you usually have to give this a good couple of tries. It doesn't always do it first time. Okay, this is probably going to be better now. So what I can actually do is I can physically move where it's sampling from. So I'm just going to sample over here and I can see all I need to do, this image is very easy, I just have to line up my squares. There you go. And I'm going to hit OK. Pretty good. I've got a little bit of a line left in there. So what I can do is I can just come back in and resample that one area. And then I'm going to do this again. And then you're going to see, so this takes a bit of a second. It's not like Photoshop. OK, that'll do come out of that, it's pretty good. It'll do anyway. I, I really like that it's reduced that focus. So let's go before and after. Already a massive difference. Now there's a few other things. These little dots up here, although they're symmetrical, don't love them. And same with these fire points. I want to keep everything else, but let's go in here. And all we have to do with these is click. And because it's on squares, Lightroom's probably going to do a really good job at lining those squares up. Or like here, not on a square. Now down here, all we have to do, we're going to come in here and reduce my feathering. And I'm just going to click on there and I know it's going to do a good job because it's pretty simple task that I'm asking it to do. Okay, 
Now I've got rid of those extra elements. I've missed one just here. So let's come back into, oh yeah, I did it, but it didn't do a very good job of it. So we're gonna hit delete and we're just gonna click on it again. And now let's see if it did a better, there you go, a better job that time. As I say, you can repeat that. So let's have a look at the before and the after. Before, now we're starting to get there. Now the next thing is these colors. I love what's going on here. So I'm gonna highlight those colors. To do that, I'm gonna find the color range that they're in. So I know it's in the greens and the blues. Okay, and I can just see that by moving the luminance and essentially by doing this, it's gonna make those shine bright. And then I'm gonna go into saturation. I'm actually gonna pull down the saturation of everything but these signs. And now what we've got is this really cool effect where it's got rid of all the other colors, not completely, but mainly, and we've just been left with that. And for me, now we're starting to get somewhere. Now, because it's not very, con it's not very contrasty, I'm actually gonna reduce the contrast even more, evening it all out. And I like that even more. So now it's this very plain and simple effect. Now, because I brought that down though, I can bring up my clarity, which is essentially just gonna boost those edges for me. And I can, let's say, bring down the blacks a little bit, but lift up the shadows even more. So I'm pushing around this image a lot. I'm gonna bring my highlights down, but I'm gonna bring my lights up. There we go. So now let's look at the before and the after. Brilliant, only minor edits this is making, but it's starting to really come to life. And that's why we do all these things. Now, the next thing that I really wanna talk about is I love the framing, the symmetricalness of this. Symmetricalness, symmetricality. I don't really know if any of those things are words, but you get what I'm saying. And essentially, I'm gonna click on this and I can see it looks really nice, but I've got too much down here, I think. So I'm gonna crop this in, and what I'm actually gonna do is my thirds line, I don't always go to the thirds, it's good to break that rule, but sometimes it's really good to use it. So we're gonna go like this. Two thirds of the gray squares, one third of the other stuff. And watch how this image now comes to life. Now I think this changes the image a lot and really makes it fantastic actually. Now at this point, I wouldn't do very much apart from I definitely want to come in and fix my noise reduction. Look down here. Look how much horrible noise is going in. Now, I say horrible noise. Noise is noise. Sometimes you want to keep it in. I'm going to try and get rid of it. But if I whack up this noise reduction all the way, it's going to get rid of that noise. But then it's going to make it look like it was all painted. And I hate that. So instead, we're just going to bring this in around 50 so it's got rid of most of the noise, but it's gonna leave some in. And I can choose how much detail it keeps or it gets rid of. So I'm actually gonna say get rid of more detail. So bring that down. There we go, I think that's done a really good job. And then my sharpening, okay. This looks really good, but I'm gonna use masking and I'm gonna hold down option. By holding down option it allows me to see where it's gonna mask it. So in white it's gonna sharpen, in black it's not gonna sharpen. So by going like this, essentially I'm just gonna sharpen all of those edges, just to make them pop that little tiny bit. I'm gonna pull back on detail. I really think that's good. So let's look at the detail, if we turn that on and off. That's with nothing at all, so we've got all that noise. And then we turn that on, oh, and it's fantastic, but it's got a lot rid of the noise in the squares, actually. So I wanna pull back, I wanna add more detail back into that, actually. And there you go, it's gonna put some of that back into the squares. Now let's come out. It's a little bit light dark up here still. So we'll take the graduated filter, because it's graduated, come in. And we're just gonna reset that. And then it's probably living in the shadows. Yes, it is. So I can lift that up, and I wonder if it's living in the lights. Yes, it's living in the lights as well. There we go, so I'm able to do that. And what about the highlights? Highlights isn't really doing anything. I'm probably gonna to have to boost my exposure. There we go, and I'm gonna to have to bring it in more. All the way over that side, actually. But you see, I've ruined it over this side, so I can't come in that far. Can't come in there, so let's try rotating this. Okay, that's better. I'm actually gonna bring this in further, and then pull it back. There we go. Now that's looking great, now let's come out. Brilliant. Before and after. 
Now, it's not the most striking image, but imagine this printed. It's gonna look so, del it's so wonderful to look at. It's just interesting with all the different things that are going on. I really love this image, so congratulations to uh, Liran Etlis who sent this in. So, that there is how I would do an edit on this very minimalist interior image. I've basically taken all the colors out. I've taken any other distractions out. Essentially, the story is this. There's not very much in it, so let's highlight that and make the even less be in it so that there's no focus, apart from the fact that it's very symmetrical and that there's lots of different things to look at when you have to focus in. There's no initial draw to the image. Anyway, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel. This was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Theme tune. Do, 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 do.